everyone, this is Kitty Affirmations right here, and I'm about to do a video, and I'm having y'all guys join me for another session of the three-minute positivity journal. Mm -hmm. Now, we're practically still going to be in the introduction, <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and get to it and read it so y'all guys enjoy it. Over time, staying true to myself became increasingly difficult. I experienced extreme advertisy advertisity excuse me trauma and hardship without enough positivity tools to release negativity and heal the burdens literally started to weigh me down nevertheless i ignored the internal signs of stress and failure and i keep pushing forward i wasn't going to let life slow me down it has a little quote note here. I was proud of myself for how well I managed and refused to give up on my dreams. This is a little note that they always give us in the book, which y'all guys continue, is all threes, the whole book. After a few pobots, grand successes, and debations, failures, I finally hit rock bottom. I wore myself out. And I had nothing more to give to myself or to others. My life didn't feel like my own anymore. And it wasn't. I had allowed trauma and people pleasing and, and low self-esteem to lead me, lead me into becoming depressed, anxiety, and overweight and broke and completely lost. I had pushed myself so far behind my breaking point that I felt exhausted. And I literally, literally collapsed. I was bedridden for weeks. Every area of my life was falling apart. I was disappointed in myself. I was always a solution or a timid person, but during this dark time, I let my mind fall to become a victim. The little confidence I had left in myself and my abilities and disappeared. I felt completely worthless, like I had failed myself and got vision in my life. Now, there's a question here. Have you ever felt like this? You have to ask yourself, have you ever felt like this? I'm sure we all have. Myself has. Alright. Most of us have been there at one time or another. Living becomes about just trying to make it from one day to the next. We feel negative emotions daily. Worry, blame, resentment, depression, anxiety. Just to name a few. Our life doesn't feel like our own anymore. We feel so stuck that we don't even know how to begin to climb out the deep hole we fell into or created. Rock bottom is somewhere none of us ever wanted to be, but sometimes it happens. It's a place that if we allow it, it can destroy us. On the other hand, it can teach us about the deepest, darkest parts of our lives, of ourselves, I mean, for our you to make growth. Now there's a little quote. Rock bottom can be our greatest teacher as long as we don't stay there for too long. Right here in the little note. Fast forward today and my life has made a complete 180 transformation. I am healthy and have released half of my body weight. I beat severe anxiety, panic attacks, and depressions without medications. I birthed two beautiful girls after being told I could never have children. I went from bankrupt to finance, abandoned and employment to being a successful entry premier, doing what I love. All right, here's a little quote. How was I able to make these changes and create a happy life? I am not better than anyone else. The same energy of creating that flows through me also flows through you. If I can do it, anyone can. In fact, I believe with all my heart that anyone can approve and create a life they love from where they are right now. You couldn't get much lower than I was de dedicated in half ago, and now I am experiencing millions around the world with my work. I'm living my passion, I'm fulfilling my purpose, I'm showing up in the world as my authentic self. I am genuinely happy, <clears throat> of course. 
I am still growing, learning, and transforming. My life has challenged in areas I like to overcome and improve, but I am happy and grateful for the journey. Now, she has something here that she has checked, which she said, I want you to feel like this. I want you to know that you can have whatever your heart desires. I want you to be happy, even amidst challenges. I want you to see, I mean, I want to see you happily live the life of your dreams. She put a little tiny note, this is why I created this journal. The content of the, and activi activities in this journal are intentionally created by me for you. They are a commendation of over a decade of research, learning, observation, exploration, and exper experimentation, both in my own life <clears throat> and in the lives of those around me. I'm sorry, people. I'm, I'm reading too fast, and sometimes I tend to mess up the words, so I do apologize. I use these daily concepts to transform my mindset and habits for growing the power of positivity brand into the global community with over 50 million followers worldwide. And I want to stop right here for a minute. In my first session, I did mention about my accent, too, so I really do apologize if not a lot of those can understand me. Now back to it. The content, check-ins, prompts, and activities I share with you in this journal are the exact positivity tool I use to transform my life. I needed help and no one was going to do it for me, but me, which is true. That part, we all have to do it yourselves just to become a better person in life. I am confident that when you commit to doing these daily entries, your life will begin to improve for a better as well. Journaling is a perfect way to shift your emotions immediately and process your feelings without judgment so you don't get stuck in an unpleasant experience. I made it easy for you with the quick and done for your check-ins, fun activities, and expiring quotes, and easy to follow props. All you need to do is show up and do the exercise within in this journal and you become the driver of your own vehicle instead of letting life take over and drive your days. I'm going to go ahead and read this quote. It has a little quote right here. And it says here, instead of planning for the worst case scenario and feeding your anxiety, how about expecting the best case scenario and restoring your peace? And that is at Positive Christian, which that is all over media. And that's how that looks like. And you know, I like these little quotes. And the pages are, like, almost look so beautiful to me. Like, it looks like little night lights sometimes. That's how it looks like. <clears throat> Alright, guys. Well, I'm going to end it there. And I will do another session. Probably tomorrow or a couple days. I'm not sure yet. I'm not good with days. I'm really not. So, I hope y'all guys enjoy the three-minute positivity journal for a little bit of the in sessions, which are still in the introduction. The introduction will be ending... Uh, one, two, three, four, five... Like, six, seven pages. The introduction will be over. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video, so if y'all guys like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below, so y'all guys be notified. I always stay blessed and positive in life, and cherish it. Other than that guys, y'all guys take care, God bless and peace out.